Copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited, unless Win Your Brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent. All other rights reserved. We want to talk today about the topic of marketing, marketing and communication. Okay. Uh, is there any other topics you wanna you wanna talk about it today? So, so I wanna talk about marketing and communication. So, um, one of the biggest challenge I always have with people like you guys is, is not, is not one I have. I have so many huge challenges, but one of the biggest challenges we always get confused what are we marketing and what are we communicating about. Right. That's right. Yeah, they do. I'm clear. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so so if I look at the product line, we assume we designed a product plan where we have a product here, and this product can be the highest dollar value or the largest number of customer, or this is what I like to do, okay? This is supposed to be the main or the prime product which we offer. This could be, just to make it into, con into, con into perceptions, this could be your workshop, your training, this could be your online uh, training. Whatever it is you are doing, you are producing this as a product. Okay? We always come to one-on-one, -on -one and everyone likes to have one-on-one. -on -one. So if you like to have one-on-one, -on -one, which is I do practice them, but I don't like them that much. With everybody's on, with me on one on one, it's okay. You have to agree. That's I like. I, I don't like to do them, but they are good source of income. That's right because you can see immediate dollars. But they are not best use of my if your time because you are trading time for our for dollars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So still one on one. So if you like to do one on one, okay, no problem. Just put the one on one here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? Now, what what else are you doing beyond your your program? What you can upsell people at here beyond your program? So, do you have an extra upselling here? For example, if you have people having your workshop or your main program here, and you invite them to a retreat, mm -hmm. this could be. If you have your, your, your people coming here in a program, and you invite them to a, 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 a mastermind group or a mindset group. If you have your people here in a program, and you invite them to train the trainer or to be delivering. Does this make sense? invite them to like a next level up if you have level one and you have level two and you have level three it can be modeled in this way mm -hmm. the point is no matter doesn't matter what you do no matter what you do you must have a clear view of what are your offers you're trying to sell mm -hmm. make sense what, so that's the marketing. What are the offers, right? So now the exercise will be is, can you go under these lines here and write with a different color what's the name of these programs? Now, does that matter? Are these the right names or not? What matters is, can you put names down so we can revisit them to change them to a different uh, structure. So, so what is the program here you are offering? What's the name of it? Can you give it a name? Uh, 
you can focus on your current program. You can focus on an online program you want to provide it later on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what is the program. This is a model, and we can always change the model. We can change the writing. So if you spend one minute or so and just write down here what could be this program, and then what could be the upselling program, which basically a higher value, a higher, a more money, and less individuals engaged with. And just pick up this program for the rest of the day. Okay. Today. So if I was going to attract leads to my current bricks and mortar building. So you basically put here the name of the service you're trying to attract lead to. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what service, but just... I just don't know what the upsell would be for it. Uh, we can talk about how, what kind of upsell you can put it up. Uh, leads to rent space? No, or? leads to attract uh, corporate business clients. Ah, okay. I own, I own, I own right. a tax firm. We yeah. can we can discuss we can discuss what are the the the, okay. the, the, the ones after just uh, just to get your mindset into sure. uh, an exercise. The most important part is we want to have an exercise today within these six hours or so so you can go out oh. <laughs> you can you can go <laughs> out you and you. you can basically apply these rules or change what you do or affirm what you are doing is the optimal approach right now yeah okay the, the question will be so each one has a name mm -hmm. of a program D can you visualize another name here for a higher a higher or upselling stage? Well, with myself, I would envision that they would get a certificate upon completion of the next level. Can you elaborate? So if we do level one and two weekend, where they would be um, doing uh, the, the introduction part, then if we uh, two weeks later had, or a week later had the upsell for the level three, and they would get a certificate saying that they had a grounded understanding in integrated chakra therapy. Okay, so what you propose here is to have what you call it now level one, two? Yes. And this will be level three, three four. Or level C. Well, it's whatever. just level three. Uh, it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't okay, matter. yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, Mike, what, do, what do you, what do you have? Oh, I, I just put the concept on the track corporate clients. I didn't really think up any catchy to catchy name to. Okay, so if we want to confirm or we want to verify that this is the right model or the right structure right we have to talk about what are the benefits to people who come to this particular offer yeah and when we document the the benefit so everything we'll do right now it will pass through four stages we will document we will distill we will validate and then we will communicate or we will communicate and validate doesn't matter so these are the four stages we will go through. Okay. okay. So document means write your trail of thoughts. Document means speak your mind. Document means it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. And then we can distill later on and figure out if this really is the right thing, okay? So what is the what are the benefits? Validate what? And communicate. Communicate. Okay. So validation usually it's a communication at a smaller scale, that's right? Right. So we will proceed with these four layers. So what are the benefits of the program which you uh, which you plan to have on the tallest line here? So can you articulate the benefits? The benefits? Oh. And the benefits 
it could be with the same it could be relevant to time to dollars to relationship to process and the information if you don't like to use this kind of structure it doesn't matter just have benefits so okay you don't need to have the four of them you should have the four of them but you don't need to but you need to start somewhere so what are the benefits for the program where people will like to hear for myself better understanding of of self okay so just you keep writing that, them okay and we can Make sense? Yeah. So do you want to uh, discuss the benefits now? Just uh, Sure. We're going to improve profits, uh, reduce tax payable, spend time, uh, spend less time with paperwork, have more time for your clients, have more time for your family, have a checklist of activities, and stay on time, compliant. OK. Can I eject a personal comment? Sure. And instead of uh, have more time with your client, would it would it be more helpful to write like um, spend more time on growing your business and uh, sell more? Yeah. Okay. So all of these are keywords. Just, just don't scratch any word. Just all of these are keywords or maybe sentences. Um, Didri, do you have any extra lines you can provide? Well, I no. On on mic. Do you have any feedback you can? On on. Um Read them one more time. Improve profits, reduce tax payable. So I'm kind of hitting the dollar quadrant. Mm -hmm. uh, process I'm having spent spend less time with paperwork uh, and have a have a checklist of activities, which mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the process. Uh, relationship is have more time for your clients' family, mm -hmm. and I kind of hit on time and relationships in that one. Stay on time and compliant again, saving mm -hmm. time. And then, as you said, sell more, grow your business. What about um, professionalism from yourself? Like, would you not have something on there to say, you know, um, that you, you are authentic and you know what you're doing and that kind of stuff to help bring clients? Like, your skill set? Is wouldn't that be a feature? That's I a don't know. It's a feature. It's a feature. It's not a benefit. But would it, would it be a benefit for them to know that you have this the skill set? 
Oh, I don't know. I thought benefits were addressing pain points. Yeah, a benefit addressing pain point. So on none, the same, none of these are pain points. On the on the on the same on the same um, line, ca- will it be helpful to talk about the audit? Like, be ready for the audit. Yeah. Okay. Is the audit one of the aspects? This all are trail of thoughts. This is not. Yeah. This is not something you, you can decide doing. It just. It's a flow <coughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, it's the flow things. Okay. Yeah. Didri, what's yours? Well, I'm, I'm trying to think of the benefits and um, not features, but um, the benefits would be that um, when they're finished that they would have a, a greater understanding of who they are, um, self-empowerment, um, tools that they can use right away. Um, they would receive uh, the books of Dr. Dr. Jelicic, so that would be a feature, not a benefit. Yes. Um, so hands-on um, discussions and examples, would okay. that be benefit or feature? Process. That's process. Benefit from process. Benefit from process. Yeah. So that wouldn't be under time then? Okay. Do you agree? I don't I, I don't see the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. By the way, this is our template for us, okay? Yeah. We don't share it, like we don't have to. Right. Okay. But we're trying to yeah. to wrap our heads because you want to you want to touch on each one of those. You, you should groups, touch on each right? one of these and <coughs> Sorry, what was your you didn't <coughs> state what your dollar target is so I can follow your thoughts. Yeah, well the What is it? What's well, your what's your title that we're going to cover for today? Oh, it's what are you um, selling? uh uh three levels of a workshop. It's a three level workshop. But you would the third level would be the upsell. The first two levels of the workshop. What are you what are you teaching them? What's so integrative chakra therapy okay. about the human biofield, about um, pe- people's auras, about the Perfect. chakra system, okay. all that kind of stuff. So um, <coughs> now now relate the benefits to what the course will provide. Like what pains are you gonna solve through the course? Like time wise. <coughs> Just to give you a comment here, mm-hmm, it's hard. Mike, maybe mm-hmm. the best one in town, <laughs> to convince him with this, is not only because he didn't he learned about chakra like four weeks ago. <laughs> it's not no. part. It's, <coughs> it's not part of his awareness. <coughs> so when we come hypothetically and say, you know, somebody here who never been aware of what you do, right, and you should articulate benefit to him and they sell it to him. If you can sell it to Mike, you can sell it to anybody else. It's not because it's not it's not an extreme example. Just it's, it's a not often we go out of our meetings and meet someone who may benefit here or may not. We don't know, right. but we want to carry a discussion on the benefits. So well, and the, the thing the is, is it's good for <coughs> me to to communicate to people that have no understanding because it helps me then understand where I need to improve yes. on my communications, right? And that's why I, I want to give you this hint. On the other hand, Shamir is very plugged in this area. So <laughs> <laughs> so you have two extremes in front of you. So yeah, yeah. If you I'll, can I'll give you a visual. <coughs> I'm Charlie Brown and you're the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember well, that conversation? Donald Trump and you're the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you know that conversation? Well, well, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I, could, yeah, exactly. I, <laughs> I have to uh, I have to rewrite what I said and cross out a bunch of things then because <laughs> it wasn't accurate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so the benefit. Yeah. So the benefits should relate to what you're gonna the attraction for your workshop, and so, that's why the title's so important, so that you know, so that you build your benefits towards your. Okay. Your topic. So um, basically, a grounded understanding of who you are as an individual here in this bio body suit that you walk around the globe on. It'll teach you how to use your own personal intuition in dealing with life problems and dealing with things that come up that are uh, related to aspects of karma, which is challenges that we bring into into this life with us when we come here. And it will help you to understand and learn what that is. Um, the tools and techniques that are used are hands-on, but there's also syllabuses and written exercises that help you understand what each one of the chakras are. And the chakras are 
basically um, so you're, you're delving, consciousness. You're moving into features now. Yeah. I, you have to first get me to the course. None of that stuff has got me to the course. Okay. Got me interested in the course. Okay. Once I, once I get to that one point where I'm interested in the course, then I can say, uh, upon attending, this is what you're going to receive. Right. And you haven't got me there yet. Okay. So. So I have to I have to stop you here. Sure. Go ahead. Because I wrote here something and uh, very interesting. Okay. Next time you talk about your 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 course, you must not use understanding. Te teach. Sorry, this was teach. Uh-huh. Dealing, help, tools, and techniques. Oh. Because anybody, <coughs> according to what we understand from, uh, I believe, uh, I hope Michelia was here because Michelia will just be overwhelmed. Ooh. Because uh, Mich Michelia? Michaela? Michaela, yeah. I believe if she is here, she will be overwhelmed. Because Michaela is an extreme um, heart centric individual. So when she will hear all of this, she will feel, oh my God, it's another school time. Oh my God, I have to learn this. What we understand is individuals who are heart centric, individuals who are highly sensitive, they call themselves, individuals who are in pain and they need help, they don't have time to understand, to teach, to deal, to help, to tools. Okay. And I'm not sure about Shamir. Uh, I have a client who just, she's good at telling me she's overwhelmed when, I, when we go through the business uh, plan and strategy. Yeah. And she says, okay, I'm now getting overwhelmed because as soon as we talk about the future, <coughs> she's about, oh my God, now I have to do this. <coughs> so when you actually bring it down from that benefits, which is intangible, is another thing I learned. Benefits are intangible. And when you actually, if somebody, trans if you say something that's more concrete, it's like, oh my God, I have to now go through a workbook. I have to now learn yes. this. I have to go. And, and so they get really kind of overwhelmed. overwhelmed. So the benefits, if you stay at a very kind of inspirational level, and, and it's it's not about te you teaching them, it's about them uh, experiencing something. And we keep it at that okay. level, then it really hits home. And then you kind of walk them down that rabbit hole, and then they have to do all of that stuff in the so end. So the key word there was the, them experiencing. Yeah, so if you say you will experience, you are heading the process. So if I talk about this, all are process oriented. So someone like Mike, with his background, half of him is process. Right. Shamir, about third of him is process. Because okay, he used to be a process guy, very deeply in process. Yeah. However, over the last three years, by not being a vice president of any organization whatsoever, being a CEO of his own company, doing hard related work, he, he walked away. He started to less admire process. He used it, but he's, he, he had a little bit of shift. So <clears throat> when I say you will understand, there's a difference between you will understand and you will find your best self. Discover your best self. Or discover. Ah, okay. Discover your new okay. potential. Or you say, who is your best self? So, so if I want to talk to a heart centric on relationship, I will tell them who is answer the question who is your best self. If I use the word understanding and discover are process related. Oh, I get it. Okay. 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 What you are about is not if I tell you this co so this course is what you are about. Right. What's the difference between what you are about and discover who you are? Is there a difference? Yes. What if you're it? discovering, you have to do the work and the process. So what are you about? But what are you about is like kind you of have leaving to it open for the individual to <coughs> choose how they would do it. So from language perspective, if I use what you are about, who are you really, who are you? Okay. It's different than understanding yourself. Yeah. Why? Because it hits different triggers. Does right. it make sense? It's, a, it's about the wording, yeah. yeah. It's mainly about the wording, and uh, I'm not the right guy to take words missing from, okay? <laughs> okay, but just this is a concept. So there are some words here which you can use. So for example, on time, what are the words related by with time? 
immediate. That's right. Time sensitive. Quickly. Quickly. Efficiently. Is this the quickest? Is there something called the quickest? Or efficiently. Okay. Uh, quick, quick, quickly. Yeah, quickest. quickest is good. No, it's fast. <laughs> there is no quickest. It's called fast. <laughs> there is a quick, quicker, and there is no quickest. This oh, is fast. The fast and well, fastest. Uh, uh, no, there I, I, I seem to have heard quicklier once before. Quicklier, yeah. Quicklier, <laughs> <laughs> quicklier yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, in English is funny. Like, why they don't like quick, quick, quicker, and 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 the quickest? So immediate, time sensitive. I will come to efficient fast. and effective. I will come to it. Okay. So, on time perspective, there are some verbs and some adjective where I can use this adjective to demonstrate time. So no matter what benefits you are using here, if you are missing one of these areas, you can always plug in one of these uh, uh, adjectives. Yeah. This yeah. mainly adjective, that's right? Okay. That's right? They're, cause they're, uh, well, quickly is a verb. Quickly yeah. is, a, is adverb, it's not a verb. It's an adverb. Yeah. Okay, so whatever, whatever they are, these words can be used and injected in sentences where it will make grammar and uh, context se sen will make sense grammarly, okay. in grammar way, so you can use it. Yeah. So I can use immediate or immediately. Yeah. You will achieve, e okay. So if I can plug in, you will have an immediate understanding of who you are, it will fill all the quadrant. Oh. Oh, neat. Okay? Okay, yeah. so, okay, you. Now, what, is the re what are the related ones to process? Process, it can be step by step. It can be methodology. It can be tools. That's the process. It can be system. So, and I believe, uh, I have to figure out something to work for this. And if we remove the words, who is? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is that permanent? Yep. You need a copy to wipe that out? No, I will use the other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Copy will take that out. Like that. Permanent? Oh. oh yeah. This is, uh, the guy who makes this thing really doesn't make sense. Anyway, it's okay. So if I take away... <laughs> Those ones don't work behind you on the, by the ledge. coffee cup on the ledge? No, this is uh, for this one. Oh. Okay. So if I will do like this, so discover, find, understand, teach, deal, help, tools and techniques, this all are related to... Process. Process. Make sense? Now, what is the ones which deal with relationship? Connection. Trust. So relationship will be what? Well, build trust. Will be connect? Connect. Yourself, uh, trust, trust connect. impact, yeah. um, that's right. Impact is relationship? What do you think? I don't know. Could be. Okay. okay. Uh, Now, what are the one? Uh, so this is the time. So what is the one related to dollars? Um, savings, profit. Sa save, saving, or save, profit. Uh, income. That's is, right. Is productivity also? Gain, 
again and again uh, it's also one of this magic word which can also hit yeah. Uh, yeah. time for people that think time is money yeah, yeah. Uh, so if I say I have a step-by-step -step program which will expand your message or, or increase your message or expand your follower base treble your income in 90 days or less okay so what we offer is a step-by-step -step program expand your reach treble your income in 90 days or less this actually is a slogan of one of my events sorry <laughs> give that example again step-by-step step 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 program yeah expand your reach treble your income in 90 days or less to expand your reach triple your income yeah in 90 days or less so when I have time here time uh, limit it will do what it means urgency it will cover this particular part but it brings out urgency if you have a time limit right it also bring up bring urgency it, it, we can talk about all of these other aspects there are some keywords which really help amalgamate two or three one of them is effective and the one of them is efficient. I have an efficient system to discover your body or to discover yourself. Efficient means what? Efficient is it's, it's to get it fast, cheaper, yeah. streamlined. Yeah. yeah. Here also there's something called cost effective. There is investment. There is return on investment, ROI. Okay? Yeah. By the way, if you need to have more words, it's very straightforward. There is a similar word in, in Google, so if you put any of these words in Google, Google will give you... Uh, I, I don't know now what what means, because they give you all similar words. And like a thesaurus. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And what people are using, and uh, when it was used in the English language, and what's more current, and things like that. Okay, so can you articulate your benefits using similar language? So, um, I really liked the phrase, you will have an immediate understanding of who you are. Like, I really liked that. Um, but it doesn't talk about anything about the program itself. And this is where we will have lots of discussion. Okay. Okay. So, Shamir, do you want to jump in and just tell us the benefit of your main program? So I, I haven't put them into that little one statement that covers all of them. We don't need a statement. We just need the parts. Okay. So my, my dollars, uh, it says reduce, uh, reduce the amount of meds you take. Uh, again, overall improvement in, in profitability and, and promotability. Um, I mean, it, it depends on who I'm talking to, what the audience is, but if that would be a professional project I'm talking to. The uh, other one is to develop trust and improve your ability to relate to others. Uh, and the uh, simple steps you can use on the go using applying breathing and emotional inducement. And then overcome frustration quickly and efficiently in less than 21 days. Oh, sorry, overcome frustration quickly and efficiently, and it takes less than 21 days to achieve tangible results. Oh, wow, those are good. I have testimonials that back that up. Mm. Okay, so let's just jump to the other part. So, are you clear on the benefits? I think so. Okay, we are just starting to, we want to talk yeah. about communication and marketing. We don't want to talk about the programs. Right. So, I know if uh, Marcel was here, he will just pull from his notes the old exercise where he had everything well articulated. Germans, I tell you. Yeah, he couldn't make it today. Uh, what about the features? What kind of features you can provide? So 
So that's, I was talking about features when I was talking earlier then, right? Yeah, so what are the features you can provide under this particular uh, offer? So there would be, would that, that would be the books? Just write them. Okay. So, but I'm thinking that what I had written is basically already the features. Okay, before. so just write okay. them down in features. Okay. So feature usually will be what? So if this is a workshop, how long is a workshop? Two days of instruction, what, three days of instruction, 20 hours of, uh, if this is a seminar or a training, it will be 20 hours training. It will be a year, uh, one year subscription or one year contract or two years contract or one year renewable contract or one year engagement contract, or one year engagement. Uh, will they get a uh, checklist? Will they get workbook? Will they get face-to-face uh, -face, uh, time? Will they get one-on-one? -on -one? Will they get strategy session? Will they get ex discovery session? Will they get uh, What else are they getting? What are the tangible? Will they receive, for example, a financial uh, statements? Will they receive tax filed? Will you be on acting on their behalf or or you will be available? Like one of the examples when we do when we do consultations. I can have an engagement contract with you and I can have a contract to act on your behalf and I can have a contract that I am open for you to call me when you want me to, to, to work for, for you but you will be the front so I'm calling you for advice these are three different types of engagement one is engagement which means I can come to your office one day a week I can work one on one, I can be, I can have a business card with your company name on it. The other one is I'm a consultant to you. When you need help, you can call me, I will be available to you and I will provide you information. I never been foreseen as a part of your co corporation or your group. These are the two spectrum. In the middle, there are so many spectrum. There are so many incidents or so many approaches to get just a contract engagement. So what are the features you are providing? If you have a workshop, is the workshop online or offline? Is the workshop one day, two days, three days? Is the course, how long is the course? 21 days, one weekly uh, meeting, or 21 days a meeting, one hour every day? Make sense, these questions? So what are the features you can provide? So give you like one minute to, Write more features, and then we can go into discussion. You, will you provide an audio recording? Will you provide a subscription to an online library? And when you are ready, we can, you can, sh you would like to share, we can share. Social media like shared. Yeah. So uh, one, like I would, I would say everything's around the that big mark there. That's my uh, membership. 
uh, program, the online membership. So the features are access to hundreds of videos. I need to convert that to hours. Um, live online group coaching, live online courses. <coughs> I would say 12 per year. Uh, with downloadable workbook or workbooks and templates. 50% uh, of live Panther Power Corporation events. 50% discount. You forgot the discount. Discount. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> your mind working faster than your fan. Yeah, so discount, 50% discount to all live uh, events for me. And then MP3 downloads of meditations for their use, personal use. Okay. Now, are the benefits rational to the same big one? Like the benefits you described mm -hmm. before yeah. are rational to the same offer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they all line, they all kind of feed into this stuff because it's all about self empowerment, overcoming obstacles. Okay, I, I will uh, I will park this particular discussion for a few minutes because I want to talk about this in a few minutes. Sure. What's your features? Okay, so um, I have the the books. I can relate. I have the Lotus the CDs, um, uh, Crystal Bowls of Tibet, uh, a workbook, we will, because I have the list is changing, um, mentorship and with one-on-one, -on -one, uh, practice sessions, group activities, the syllabus recordings, self-evaluating quizzes, meditations, a certificate, Okay. Um, two days of instruction plus hands-on experience. So one thing about the quant, this should, should be first quantities. So you have to make it quantitative. So when you talk about uh, meditation, can you say how many, how long? So in the weekend there's four. So uh, you say four, minute. you okay. say basically four. Four 15-minute meditations, 10 to 15-minute meditation is just four meditations. Four up to, up to 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. What did I say I have to park? I forgot. Uh, park the connection between benefits and, and features. Nope. I told you something else. You know, that's what you told me. He says, do your benefits line up with your features? No, no, and then you, when you, when, can you list again your features? My features are uh, access to hundreds of videos, live online group coaching, live online courses, 12 per year, workbooks and templates downloadable, 50% off discount, live Panther Power Corporation events, and MP3 and meditation downloads. Okay. And you were saying that all relates back to, yeah. and that's when you said, we'll put yeah. Okay. I said, yeah. yeah. I said, that, you know, I, they, they all relate to. Okay. So we have to do, we can do it in two ways, but let's just pick up in this way first, see if you can get it. So the features of quantities. The, fi the features has to be quantitative. So you cannot say meditation, uh, you can say access to daily meditation. Uh, you can say weekly meditation. You can say uh, um, hundred hundred meditations. Uh, you can say twenty well, meditations, but you cannot leave it open. Okay. For two reasons. One reason is if I wanna report you to the B uh, business bureau or take you to court under. Uh, uh, combative uh, competitions act or get my money back from you <laughs> I have to have uh, you have to defend yourself by having proof I give you four hours here is the four hours I give you four meditation uh, but if I promise you me hundred meditation hundreds of meditation <clears throat> and I give you 101 meditation hundreds means more than two three hundred meditation so this is first point this is need to be defended in a court of law i'm not saying that everybody will take you to no. court of law but i'm saying like this is a contract with the customer that this is what are you delivering and you should be able to track what delivering the second part is people who are process oriented or they care about the money and the, and the value or creative or, or um, <coughs> time 
or, or interested about time and urgency, they will not buy into the fluffy numbers. Right. Hundreds. How many of them? If you have hundreds, relationship people will be upset. They will not, they are not happy because hundreds for them is overwhelming. These people don't like time is time people because there is a dif uh, there is a um, diversion between time relation and there is a diversion between process and money because when it takes longer time it will cost you more money right that's right and uh, you, when it's very quick you don't have time to establish a relationship you have remember it in this way so one thing it has to be quantitative very well articulated Okay. I have a question for you. Also. Yes, sir. So my videos are growing one one video a week, essentially. So how do I articulate pre precision when I know that by the time I print that, it's already obsolete by the time the marketing material goes out? So when I say I, you know, I pr produce, you know, there's like a 75 right now that are on. So you can say 75 plus videos and... Um, 75 plus videos okay. and uh, what you will uh, uh, what you can say uh, and growing and the access to one weekly video recording for the rest of for the follow in the following uh, six months or the following year so you will access a library of 75 plus videos of 75 plus weekly recorded video and access to the week the future weekly recorded videos you can use these words and just make them sen make sentence yeah. sentences which make sense okay so i could put like access to training videos Yes. I could put access to meditations, yes. access to... Yes. Okay. okay. And when you say access to, and you use words like exclusive, user, access only, password, protected. This will give it a wow factor. Okay. So that's that is where you get the membership then, right? <coughs> that's that whole side of it. Okay. Okay. Or membership only. Okay. Or member members only area. Or members only account. This is will incline <coughs> that this is a special Make sense? This is a, they call this power words. And we are in the business of what we call it copywriting. Copywriting means you pick up the right words to... It's not about what you want to say. Make sense? Any other questions? Did we have other questions? No, I think I'm okay. Mike, any questions to follow up to get you back? Okay. <clears throat> so, the next step will be what are the values the value in dollars in front of each feature. <coughs> so what is the value of in dollar in front of each feature you have? Each feature must have a dollar value. We didn't do much, just uh, we had examples of uh, Shamir and uh, Didri on, on, of features, and uh, we talked about this particular extra word. You didn't write down any features, though? Sorry? You didn't write down any features? No, nope, nope, they just uh, said the features. So if you are ready with features, we can discuss your features. Those, each one of them discuss their own features. Yeah, okay. And they will discuss it again because they have to tell us what are the values of each feature. So you will. Yeah. You'll have you'll hear it one more time. Okay. 
And please, if you're done with the feature values, can you add them? You don't need to add them exact, but just write about and just have a bulk number, like how much will it cost all of these features? Okay. In terms of values, not in terms of what people pay for. can share when you are ready. Do you want to share? So um, I basically took everything and added it all together. So 1000 to $1,200 would be the um, features. OK, so what is the first feature? So we have um, two days of instruction, um, value $450. And I have to stop you here. Yeah? How many hours in a day? Well, there's six, uh, there's, uh, it's. How much did you say, 400? 450. And 50, for two days. For two, okay, so I see how, yeah, I see where you're How many that. hours per day you do interaction? From 10 till usually about 5 to 4.30, so so six and a half hours. Can six. you make it six or, six or hours. seven? Right. Make our life six simple. Hours. Six hours. <laughs> six <laughs> make hours. our life simple, okay? Six hours. So six hours first day plus six hours second day. Yes, so 12 hours total. And how many instructors there? Two. Times two. So if I do the math, this will be 24, 450. Can I make them 420, simplicity? Or 450 is okay. <laughs> Divide by 24. So this is by this will be less than $20 an hour. Yeah. Because two because 24 will to 480 yeah. is time $20. So yeah. that's why yeah. that's why I don't say we don't have to be exact. No, no, no. <coughs> uh, yeah, okay. Okay. So, so the question for you is how much the one on one hour so that's 180. So you said. So, so hold on, should, okay, okay, okay. I have, I have the information now. <laughs> so if I say 180 per instructor, mm -hmm. or I say the senior instructor 180, the junior instructor is a hundred dollar or a hundred dollar, for example. Time 12, sorry, time 12. This will be 1200, and this will be much more than 1200. Okay, this will be close to two thousand dollars. Okay. So this so is on its own is thirty two hundred dollars. If you want to get the instructions one on one. Okay. Okay. So that okay. So, so this is just on the value. So if I come to Shamir, I say I have a course of twelve hours. And these 12 hours, if you want to take them one-on-one, -on -one, it will cost you 3200 And this is the invoices, or this is the evidence that these people will charge 280 both of them. Will you pay for it 320 Maybe. Will you pay for it $200? You can see he knocks his head up now. He says, yeah, 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 it makes sense. Yeah. But if I come and say, it's a four, it's a six hours or 12 hours to an instructor is 450. Mm -hmm. It means $225 per, per day. It means less than $20 an hour, which is a little bit higher than the minimum wage. Okay. That's why when you sell two or three or four days event, you have to come and say somewhere in your presentation that your one on one, when you do like question and the answer on how to overcome the objection, why is a workshop? It's very straightforward. It's a workshop because if you come to me one on one, it's one hundred eighty dollars. I charge one hundred eighty dollars, and my assistant will, for example, will charge. Uh, maybe the assistant will charge one hundred eighty-two. I don't know. Maybe yeah. both instructions. I, I, I'm just. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm providing hypothetical examples here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and don't try to make it as argument. So, uh, so then if I if I look at this, and um, so then two days of instruction were thirty two hundred dollars. If you use this number. Yes. So if you use this a U.S. number, a U.S. dollars, this will be exceeding two hundred and forty Canadian dollars an hour. Yeah. So this will end up being to be close to four thousand dollars for a day. A day. And it, uh, uh, for both days. And it doesn't matter how much is it. Like I know, like Karen, for example, she sells a $2,000 two days workshop or three days workshop. I don't remember now. But she will stand and say, if you want to consult with me per day, I charge $5,000. She never charged $5,000. But her MRSP, her price list shows one day $5,000. She never charged such a thing. No. But she will come through the presentation and say, question and answer. When you do your offer, there is a question and answer. Remember, people who attend this particular uh, workshop, uh, you say, why it's a workshop? Why it's a group training? It's a group training because interaction with individuals will help you, blah, 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 blah. Moreover, if you want to come with me one on one, it's and I provide you, you as much. 12 hours, I charge 180, I charge 200, or it's two days for me, I charge $2,000 per day, it's $4,000. So do you, do you want to pay $4,000 or you will accept to have better experience interacting with others and pay $400? Okay. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. So then when I look at this and I say... Um, so I'll give you one more minute to go back and review your numbers. Okay. Samir, what are your numbers? So I'm saying 75 plus videos uh, worth over $2,000. And I have to stop you here. How much will it cost video produ production per hour? Um, so when we go watch Star Wars, for example, how much is a two hours production cost? Well, millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, so I understand. But when you go and say, I will go to a D box, have you ever known what's a D box? What? Ticket is? I've never heard yeah, about yeah, it. No, no, it's theater. It's yeah. a new surround. Is a, is a D box, is a, I give you a chair which yeah. vibrates. 25. And don't use it, okay? It's, 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 it's awful. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> because it vibrates in the wrong time, okay? <laughs> the D, I didn't enjoy the D box experience myself. Yeah, but I will, find, I will go in and I will find that I will pay ticket. Will start from six dollars in Tuesday night yeah. on the specials, all the way till seventy-five dollars for dinner and di for uh, dinner and movie, and it's the same movie. Yeah. Yes, I understand. The movie production is in the hundred million. Okay, and to go and uh, and experience everything, people will pay somewhere. Majority of us will be around sixteen. To twenty-five dollars in the regular theaters, that's right. Mm -hmm. This is a global. Is a, is a, it's about sixteen dollars per an adult. For, for adult? Yeah. Or in the uh, on those lower. On the regular one, on the regular seats, about sixteen dollars per adult, I believe. And if you go to Costco, you buy the twenty. I think it's twenty-eight now. Dollars two that's for true. one. Two. Popcorn or two and the two popcorn and everything is right. Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> And then we will go to movies, and do we know the movies how much it costs? So when I talk about seventy-five plus videos, pl uh, seventy-five plus videos, how much will cost me to produce one hour of video? Well, the edit is just one hour, uh, also. So the editing is just a uh, hundred bucks for that uh, market price, and then but the actual production and time uh, costs another two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars per video. Okay. So it's easily a thousand dollars per video. You can easily say a thousand dollars. You can easily say it costs about five hundred dollars per video by the time you you add in my time and the production cost. You don't like the five hundred? Okay, justify the two hundred. So when I multiply two when I multiply one hundred, I'm a simple guy, that's right. <laughs> when I multiply one one hundred by seventy five equal to what? Seven fifty. 7,500. Yeah. How much did you put there? 1,200? I put down $2,000 because I priced it as, as uh, $25 a video because that's what people, group coaching people would pay to attend a group coaching session 
on a 15 minute program or a 30 minute program. Okay, if you if you say people pay $25 to have this video, to participate and watch this yeah, video. and That's the way I frame it. Like it doesn't matter. You, for you, frame is right. Yeah. Can you justify it? You say $25, yeah. this is the subscription fee to experience the video. Yeah. But if you want to talk about production, you can go up to one thousand dollar per production. Yeah, that's true. So I can I can basically say uh, you know I, I like your five hundred dollars because I think that's more realistic. And if you want to play the five hundred dollar, you have to remember the the buzzwords. What are the buzzwords? Quality. High definition. Well, it's not high definition. Four K. Like have you professionally edited? Uh, actually, okay. it's HD because you have 1280 by uh, 720. Yeah, I do. It's HD. Okay. But it's it's put on YouTube. <laughs> and the same thing, like uh, my <laughs> one of my people I know very well, he used a 4K camera. Yeah. So he say all my audio, my videos are recorded by on 4K camera, right. and all his videos I will download them through the int I will watch them on the internet, and I cannot use the 4K resolution because I don't have bandwidth and on YouTube watching 4K I don't know I, I, we never figure out how we can watch a 4K on YouTube usually it doesn't work and I will not see the difference but he always talk about the 4K camera and you can buy a 4K camera for a hundred dollar because there are 4K cameras the professional 4K cameras are in the twenty hundred thousands of dollars twenty thousand two hundred thousand dollars but you can buy from um, um, Best Buy or any place a 4K camera for video streaming. Oh, it, you mean one of those little? One of these little things. It's $100 to $1,000. And eventually, in six months or more, you will not find any HD camera anymore. Because it will all be 4K. Like, can you find a regular video camera which is not HD right now? Yeah, no. They don't sell them in stores anymore, right? Technology has been advanced. So, if you want to justify the video, you have to articulate why you put it. Uh, no, I, I don't mind saying recorded in HD, in HD quality, and professionally edited videos yep. over $2,000. That makes a lot of sense. Now, if it's over $2,000, how much are you asking them to pay? $200? Uh, $100? I'm asking them to pay, well, for, well, this is part of the membership, so overall, the value is over three thousand uh, dollars and growing, right? So I would ask for you know two hundred dollars a year. Okay. Or more. Depends on like remember I've got three tiers, so I would break them up into. Okay. Uh, Mike, do you wanna throw in some of your numbers? Ah. Uh. Well, I went on a different tangent today, so I didn't really give any thought around workbooks or processor videos or stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, I agree with all of all of the costs that you have in there. That is okay. More realistic than okay. Very fair. Very fair. Yeah. Yeah. So back I, re I re evaluated. <laughs> re evaluated. <laughs> I re evaluated. Um, fifty one hundred bucks would be the total value. Because the books are twenty five dollars. No, we did not talk about the books. We talk about this feature only. The f which features? The first feature you talk about. Which oh, the first feature. Okay, so I I did the two days of instruction, um, at thirty two hundred dollars. Okay, now what are the features? What other features do you have? So then there's the workbook. How much did you put for the workbook? So I put a hundred and well, I put I didn't put for the the workbook, but the workbook would be. Um, a thousand dollars because of the time that goes into putting it together. So workbooks are tricky. So workbooks can be done in two main, in two different ways. The workbook can be like a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar flat rate or fifty dollar flat rate, based on the page will be multiple of ten dollars a page. So if it's a five, if, if it's a fifty pages. Okay. Workbook. Okay. It's a. Uh, it will be like five hundred dollar, and I will write fifty fifty pages workbook. Okay. If it's eight pages workbook, it will be around maybe fifty to a hundred dollar, like eighty uh, roughly. So we're okay. not sure, but it's probably going to be about 
200 pages. You cannot have 200 pages workbook in a two days workshop. No. Oh, I see. I'm thinking the workbook for the whole thing. Okay, so okay. $50. So this is one, one, uh, one aspect to it. Okay. okay. The other aspect to it is to count how many hours went into this workbook. Well, hours. This is the other aspect. But however, you have to be but careful. once it's done, it's done. You don't have to tweak it again. So, yep. right? So, this is maybe the workbooks will be 50 to to $100 each. Okay. All right. So, I have the, 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 printed, the printed material at $25. There is no sense. It's, it's not clear what are the printed material. Well, that would be I Can Relate and Eye of the Lotus, the two books. They're $25 the, each. The two books are $25 each. Where can we check they are $25 each? You can get them on Amazon. You can get them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so okay, so you say like this, so the two books will be $50 both of them? Yes. Okay, what else do you have? Then I have the workbook, which is about $50. One-on-one -on -one, uh, mentorship is $180. Is this included in the package? Yeah. Okay. Um, practice sessions are $180. How many of them? There, we meet every Monday for two hours. How many of them? So... Well, it's ongoing. So, so you, you have to limit them. Because if you, they are ongoing, they are 52 yeah, per uh, year? Yeah. So well, 52 per well year. Well, no, it's 24, it would be 24 a year because it's No, it wouldn't be because you wouldn't do it on, on, on Christmas time or holidays. Right? No, so I do. Even on, if, if it falls, okay? Well, if it's not on Christmas Day, if it's not on staff yeah. holiday, yeah. I, I'm there. Right, but, but there are staff holidays. Yeah, Monday, then it goes. Well, it depends yeah. on what day you pick. Yeah, because we use Mondays. So, I mean, if you if you say at least 50, then you're covered. So, because it's every other week. So, so if you talk about 3200 24. 3200 plus about $200 material. Okay, and then you've got your practice sessions. And then the practice session are 50 uh, times 180. This is on its own nine thousand dollars. Holy shit! Why are you so cheap? So why you so could not sell this for four hundred twenty? Sell which? So, I'm sorry, I just totally went. Zoom. If you talk about fifty sessions, people can come attend, and yeah. the fifty sessions are two hours, mm -hmm. and it's about hundred and eighty value. Mm -hmm. This is our nine thousand yeah. dollars worth of training. Okay, well, I just, just messed the up. And then the one-on-one -on -one mentorship is, is I mean, uh, uh, on Wednesday, I'm meeting a gal one-on-one. -on -one. That's why I can't come on Wednesday. And that's $180 an hour. Okay. Um, and then there's the group activities um, on top of that. Uh, the recordings, the syllabus, the self-evaluating quizzes. So what are the values of each one of these? So the syllabus is a copy of the of the the program, like the syllabus is what the handout of what you go through, okay. and the uh, question and answers. The recordings are like you do; everything is recorded, and they have access to that. So you have the recording. Yeah. So how much is the recording will be? I put a thousand dollars for okay. the for the two days. Okay. And then the self evaluating quizzes, I put twenty five dollars. So how much is the total will be? Well, I had fifty one hundred, but that nine just brought it up to six grand. This nine thousand dollars. Yeah, it just brought it up to six grand. Why is fifty grand? Six, six. Oh. Well, I had it fifty one. Fifty one and nine thousand dollars means fourteen thousand. Oh, fourteen. See, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So we're up to fourteen thousand. Okay. For one weekend, for that would be well, it would be basically that's crazy. Well, it, it, unless you, yeah, it's hard to wrap my head around that. Well, what you have to do is you also have to make sure that if you have anything that looks like what you're offering that's significantly valued less, you have to be mindful of that. So, who are your competitors out there? And, and because people will see through this if you're saying, you know, this is a ten thousand well, yeah. product. 
and Tony Robbins is saying that it's a five thousand dollar value, and you're com I'm not saying you are comparable to Tony Robbins. You, you need to make sure that the, they don't perceive you as being overinflated, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing you'd want to temper this with. Okay, what's your numbers? If you want to go through the rest of them. Uh, oh, the other numbers? Yeah. Uh, I said that there's uh, 10 live personal power webinars each year, one hour webinars. Uh, and that's, and that the registration costs alone for those are $500 each year. Yep. And then there are five 21 day programs, um, Reboot Your Life programs, that Registrations are two hundred dollars for each program, so that's worth a thousand dollars, and this thousand uh, dollars there, and then there are downloadable workbooks, but they are part of the twenty-one day program, so I haven't put a, a dollar on that. Mm. Uh, and basically, I just said it's uh, over thirty-five hundred dollar value for the entire annual uh, for the entire membership um, of, of of value. So it's it's. So th what I haven't separated out there is what the annual value is. So the annual value, because I'm, uh, you know, if you were to rent, if you were to, thirty-five hundred is the value of the actual product. But if you were to say, uh, pay for it separately, you'd pay five hundred dollars a year for my uh, one-hour webinars, and you'd pay over two thousand dollars a year on on my no, not well, it's yeah, on my videos, on my weekly. So I would really say this is a three thousand dollar. Uh, a year benefit, and I'm selling it for 97 a year. Okay. Now, when you bring something like video recording, what is the benefit of video recorded material? You can access it whenever you want, on demand, doesn't matter which time zone you're in. Yeah. So w always remember when you articulate, I have the recording, so you can redo the program on your own, you can review the yeah, program on your own, and if you cannot attend, guess what? You can attend whenever you like. There's just one extra tip uh, during what we talk about right now. Now, I want to come back and revisit what Mike said at the very beginning. He said, oh, I don't have second tier, third tier. So uh, to address this particular comment, I have to come and say, what are the sanity check or what are the rules around values to price? So how much do you price this offer at right now? That is yeah. $450. So you, you charge $450 for whatever offer for, you have. For the weekend, yeah. Okay. Uh, and Shamir said he wants to charge $997 or $100, just to make it simple, right? For a year. Thousand for a year. Dollars, so we have $450. So the $450, you come from $14,000? Mine's 1000 yeah. And him, it's a $3,000. That's yeah, right. For a thousand. Three thousand for a thousand. And you came from fourteen thousand to four fifty. So what are what are the conven the convincing ratios? When I can say I am not undervaluing my program, I'm not overvaluing my program. Seventy-five percent. I am not undervalue my program. What are the multiples between value? So, oh, I really want to stick to one, one page, okay? So, between value to investment, what are the multiple? People will invest and pay you money right. for a value. Right. What are the multiples? Two to one, three to one. I so in the industry, one. in the industry, we know it's one, eight to twelve. So if I take an eight hundred dollar uh, offer, I will pay a hundred dollar for. If I take a twelve hundred, if I take a twelve hundred dollar offer, I can pay a hundred dollar for. So eight to one or, or or what was that? Or one to twelve. Or, one, or twelve to one. Twelve to one or uh, or ten to one will be the easy the easy way. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay. So if you sell three hundred dollar offer, three thousand. If you have a value of three thousand thirty four hundred, you can always sell it for a hundred for. Uh, three hundred. For three hundred, that's right. In a bulk number, okay. We also understand that people in North America will relate more to 97 right now. Sometimes they relate to 99. It doesn't matter what methodology you want to use. Yeah. But this is are the values. So if I have a $14,000 program, I should be able to sell it at 1000 to $1,400. Or I have to go back and they cut the features and offer on the features a second level. Let me ask you this. Uh, you're talking exclusively online over here? Like when you talk about the ratio? It's not online. It's... Uh, In person. It doesn't matter. Oh. General ratio. It doesn't matter. So when uh, Black Card Books will uh, sell you another half a million dollar growth in your business, they charge you fifty dollars, $50,000 to for your uh, for your book to produce your book Who? black card books is a, is another company doing uh, books business they come and say if you have a business and you create a book you can sell more and you can make between half a million to a million dollar more and that's why their program is fifty thousand dollars when uh, a return on investment conversation yeah so when you value when you show a value of gain Okay, of some some amount, people will accept to pay between one over eight to one over twelve or one over twenty. It's different the market. <laughs> Make sense? Mm -hmm. So what do I have to do with this piece of information? Two things. If your values are not into the one to eight to one to twelve, you should be able to plug in or add in some other features like borrow somebody else books uh, create books create online create videos um, add the previous meditation add the figure out some other complementary so if, if you offers. have too much though like if you're i'm just talking right now if you have less than okay so if i have less than one to eight i should either reduce my price or add more features to build it If I have the other extreme, if I have more here, what should I do? Either increase the prices or take some. Or take some and create a second tier of membership. So I can create here uh, a different package levels. So I can go and sell a 480 or a 450 workshop mm -hmm. with no or with only two practice sessions. But I can also sell a thousand dollar workshop with one year, with six months or a year long practice session. Does it make sense? I can upsell the extra features. What will be the benefit of the extra feature? The benefit of the extra feature must be different than the benefit of the small one. Well, you, it would be a more intense study. So it would be, right? Is it more feature. intense study, or well, when you keep practicing, or when you keep practicing, you will uh, you will you will escape you will uh, <coughs> you will get yourself into the the second level, or the next level, mm -hmm. <coughs> or you'll be more fluent, or your intuition will awaken awaken more, yeah. or you will practice more, so you will get so you should figure it out. What is the benefit of having the other tier? So sometimes when we have workshops with the other tier, we say what? 
priority seating, access to backstage of the speaker, extra hour with the speaker. Try this one we talk when we sell VIP packages. Make sense? Make sense? So are you value? I guess you don't put any value on that. Right. What do you mean? Access to, you know, uh, an, uh, one hour access to the speaker. Um, it will be the, the speaker rate. She said 180, 180. That's right. A thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. Whatever you establish as a speaker rate. Remember Justin Bieber did that and they put a cut, cut out cardboard at the backstage to take pictures with it? Uh, uh, there are so many events when they when you take for, when you take picture with the speaker or with the performer, and the sp the picture will be an extra seventy five to two hundred fifty dollars a piece. So you go there and attend it for like a hundred dollar or two hundred dollar, and then you want to have a memorable uh, uh, photo, and this will be two hundred fifty dollars. That's right. Or 150 so it doesn't matter uh, the point I want to make is if you have $14,000 offer it's very low to sell it at 450 so if you still get people at 450 is great can you say it's a limited two session four sessions only the Monday three sessions mm -hmm. and you if you want to come to the six months sessions, you will pay another $300. If you want to subscribe to one year sessions, you can come at any time during this year and keep going. This will be a $1,000 or a $1,400. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So you don't overlap what you have right now. You need to just grab a new sheet of paper and start saying, okay, now I'm structuring it in this way. Because if you will relate to what we, what you are, have already done, you start at the wrong point, at the wrong starting point. Right. So we, when we start at the wrong starting point, we end up having the wrong the ending, point. ending point. <laughs> so to correct the wrong ending point, we have to go back and rework it from a new starting point. And then the question will be, will this be an upsell? or it will be an extra tier here. It's your call. If you have different benefits, you can always say it's an upsell. If you have a very similar benefit, one or two more, you can say VIP, VIP, or, or preferred, or a special one, a special two. This is model is your own model, not me. I, it's not, there is no rules here. You, you can model it in any way you like. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Okay. So, the question, the next question will be on live uh, on the following upselling. Which, what will be the name of the following upselling? So, what is the name of the following upsell? First weekend is introduction. The second weekend is a certificate. Um, okay, yeah. so it's not level one, level two, and level three. It would be, but it's, it's but, we, not, but we can't do it that way. You yeah. cannot name it level one, level two, level three. Yeah, you yeah. have to find an independent name for it because this is a complete different offer. Right. It has a prerequisite to go back and get this. So I. I you, you may want to call it advance. Yeah, um, you may want to call it certificate. You may want to call it uh, bookkeeping and accounting or accounting and auditing and uh, 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 audit. So if you are doing the bookkeeping, accounting things, there is a bookkeeping and, and a simple financial statement. There's a bookkeeping and financial statement with notes. There's a bookkeeping and, finan and audit financial statement, that's right? So there are three tiers of financial statement you can produce. How many of those do you produce? Just the one. 
why you don't present the other two? Because you already doing the bookkeeping. So having an audited financial statement or having financial statement with notes, it's a very marginal extra work because you are already engaged with them. It's a one year engagement, that's right? So you already engage with them. So there is less risk for anybody to do it, to add this extra. However, I do know from the market that it's maybe a thousand dollar for a, or a four hundred to thousand dollar for a standard financial statement. If you want to add notes to it, it will be another three thousand dollars. If you want to do a edited one or audit one, sorry, it's seven thousand ten thousand dollar a piece. Yeah. Now, if I do everything and I have the, tra the trail of everything happening, how much extra effort to make an audit? Too much. If you have the material, you still have it's too much to audit it. You collect all the material. So how how much extra effort to audit that? It will not be incrementally more. Yeah. So if it's not incrementally more, it may be the best spot to have extra revenue by just pushing them into the audited one or the at least the one with notes. I was reviewing uh, one with notes the other day for a for a for a company I'm engaged with, and it was very interesting. The notes, how how clarity they put to the numbers. So you may want to say, level one is bookkeeping and simple financial statement. Level two is detailed, and level three is audited. It may it may be a position where when you show it to people and you have companies which has more than one partner, it's always to rec recommended to have what? Financial statement with notes. Because you can describe how these numbers came from, that's right? Mm -hmm. So this is, might be two to three thousand dollars more beyond what you have right now. Make sense? Yeah. The beauty of notes is once anybody experiences it, they will not go back because they used to know they, they need to keep knowing all this information. So maybe an, an approach to exp uh, or a venue to explore is when you want to create a tier two. Yeah. It can be quality of service, how to increase the quality on, of engagement. You may also come and say, you know, tier one, it will get you at most 10 hours a month. If you have more, we will upgrade you to tier two to give you 20 hour a month. VIP will be uh, 40, 50, just some numbers, right? There is a way to model the multi-tier or the different layers. Does it make sense? Yeah. Did you find this useful? Mm -hmm. One also, another approach is if you are doing workshops, you may offer with the workshop a weekly online event or a weekly online engagement. And this weekly online engagement can add a tier two in the subscription. That's right. Now, which one of these do you apply? Okay, so we, and I left that out because we do a weekly, a weekly email out now. So you can, why you didn't add a weekly? Because I didn't think of it. You just added to the, to, the, uh, to the list. Now, which one of these I should add? And which one should I leave behind? It doesn't matter. Just to start, fresh start from a, a point where you say, okay, here are my thoughts. I will do one, two, three, four. Do the evaluation. Remember, you document, distill, and validate. So when you document, you start to document everything. When we... Um, distilled when we talk about the numbers. When we validate, we provided the value to dollar as a validation step. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the, fo the following step? It's communicate. Structure a piece of material, send it out to people, and say and see what they will say. And we will come to talk about this in a few months. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. It's all with the start from the product sheet. The template of product sheet I provided you before, it always has to start from there. 
What is the benefits you provide? As uh, Shamir was saying, non-tangible benefits, how you will advance, and when you join, this is what you, what you will get. Make sense? Um, I'm a little stuck on my upsell. What? I'm a little stuck on my upsell. Do you want to discuss it more? Sure. So, what is your current offer? My current offer is... Which you have it here. Like, the current offer means what you have here. Well, I guess my bookkeeping is my upsell. Because my, my package is my regular. And those, some people come to us with their bookkeeping and others don't. So, I guess I upsell almost right out of the gate with the bookkeeping. So if your upsell is the bookkeeping, it's very legitimate upselling. And the bookkeeping will be a, a one year engagement agreement because you come every month. You, you provide the service every month. Right. Now, if you do the bookkeeping on its own, you can produce a monthly uh, interim best financial statement. That's right, it's financial right. statement without uh, amortization and without, yeah, without yeah. few things. Yeah. So how often you need to provide this financial position? You wanna do it monthly? You wanna do it quarterly? Uh, you can also offer them a monthly one at a higher rate. Like you can say, you will do the bookkeeping and the financial once a year. This is the package number zero, number one. Yeah. A higher package will be a bookkeeping and the monthly financial position, which basically financial statement out of QuickBooks or whatever package you use. And the third one, some people will go and uh, raise fund or do something or apply for bank loan or whatever. So they need to have an, a, a form of formal financial statement at that point. Mm -hmm. So you can ha you can produce this as option number three and financial statement was, was last year or was the last three years comparable. It's a higher layer of uh, this is how, how I see it before in accountant world. Like you can give you one was was last year comparable. Yeah. Or I can give you one with the last three years comparison. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Does this make sense? Shamir, do you have any point to discuss? I've just uh, thought about it differently to phrase the two tiers. Um, one is just just replay access, no live programs. And then that li library would grow once you've done the live programs. The other one is just live access only, no replay. The other one is the exclusive access on both. So the way I did the math on that is if, if you have, um, if you wanna just access just a replay uh, alone, it's $25 a month. So what I do is, so it's $26.25 a, a year, which is the uh, sorry, live access only, $26.25 a year. I turn that into like a $250, uh, $25 a month, uh, which is one to 10, right? So 262, and so I said, what, well, $25 yeah, a month? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the, Replay only works out to about $4,500 value of library. And I said, well, that's $450 a year. I said, well, okay, $45 a month is, we can have that. So you got $25 live only access, $45 a month access to only replays. And if you want a full, full access, which is over 7,000 value, which is, I combined everything. Uh, I said, well, then that's $65 a month, uh, which is close to $700. Yep. They look like small price points, but you know they're in the seven hundred dollars a year, five hundred dollars a year, and three hundred dollars a year. Right. One other approach is to sell them a one dollar for the recording for the past record, uh, a one dollar for the past recording, and a twenty five dollar for the for, for for the future ones, or vice versa. So say that again, one dollar for, for the library itself, just access to the library. Li access to the library is 99 cents or one dollar. One dollar, access to the library for how long, for a year? For, 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 a, for a month or so. Okay. And then on the future ones is $25 or vice versa. Buy the library right now 
is $25. Would like to have extra video every week is $1 for a year. So you're still getting your $25 a year, but you will have also another extra dollar. So, so if I say, okay, so let me, let me think this through here. If I say you can have access to a library and all the replays right now for, uh, for a dollar in the first month. And then the upselling. $25. The upselling will be have accessing the live view the live videos, the future ones. Future ones, yeah. Let me think about that. Or alternatively, you can buy right now this product for twi for uh, one dollar, mm -hmm. for twenty five dollars, and upselling for a dollar. The live videos for a year. For a year or five dollar live videos a year. And then then you can say there's an automatic that then after the first year. It goes to the forty-five dollars a month. Yeah. Or sixty-five dollars a month. Yeah. yeah. If, if if I if I can. How we know which one will work through communication? If you communicate this in a in a message to to your ultimate audience, yeah. what will happen? How many of them will buy? Like we don't know. And even if somebody will come and say, "Oh, I market this program before and we sold so many," it's great. My program is different. Mm -hmm. So it's not because you have a track <coughs> record, there is a necessity, I will get the same multiple. Because when this opportunity was different, people were different. So we fall usually in this uh, trap. People say, oh yeah, I had experience with that. Oh, that's great. So can you guarantee that I will sell the same? Yeah. If they guarantee, they will come as a partner. That's it. If they don't guarantee, they will ask you for $50,000 upfront or some some amazing numbers from the potential production uh, projections and the projections never happen by the way that's why i i prefer to have the weekly the monthly engagement because it's my responsibility to grow what you have and your responsibility also to act and apply and if you have questions that's why i like this forum of having the week the weekly and the monthly engagement because otherwise uh, there is no results. And uh, I know Mike was telling me last time when you talked to me about how you, how you talk to or how you feel to your customer. How I what? You remember when you articulate to your customer, how do you feel about my offer? Mm -hmm. Like this was like two months ago or so. Mm -hmm. It took you like six months to do a mindset shift to can articulate different language. Right. You know, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Now, if we if we keep going along this, the following question will be is, so this is what we talk about right now is selling, mm -hmm. is not marketing. The question about that is, what are we doing here to talk about this particular offer? That's the marketing. This is the marketing event or the marketing sheet or the marketing brochure. So what are the forms of this uh, point of contact? What could it be? Uh, free evening seminars. And it can be different for different people, that's right? Mm -hmm. So it's free evening seminar or uh, free evening uh, seminar. It's uh, So this could be a free evening seminar. What else could it be? If I'm selling my program online, this would be what? Free online seminar. Which is called webinar. That's right. Mm -hmm. Can I have combination of both? Can I have a combination of both? Why not? Why not? Okay. Can this be a downloadable uh, ebook or a live video? Yes. So people can come and access live video. Where, where I can sell, can be can this be a sample meditation? It, so it can be a seminar or a webinar, and seminar and webinar are information session. This is what we call them. Mm -hmm. It can be a downloadable. It can be whatever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So what is the best approach? 
just I think that face to face is always the best, whether it's through a webinar, whether it's through live interaction, but to meet the presenter, right? Okay. What other criteria you can decide which one you want to do? Mike, what other criteria? Criteria for what? For selecting what needs to be done here. For selecting it? Yeah. Because or what else, uh, else can we do? Because we talk about information session, yeah. downloadable, live videos. Uh, you can do face to face, you can do one on one, you can do meetups. So, which one are the best ones, or what are the other criteria to pick up which activity you want to do? One of the criteria we always talk about is here you ask people to pay how much? Oh, I see. So th that would be free. The oh, so I see. Okay. So, yeah, I see. okay, if I ask you to pay that much. I should meet you at a different point where, where you, you open your wallet. Where you open your wallet? You open your wallet and pay me a little bit. So if it's a $20 live seminar, yeah. I will expect you to pay $200 to $2,000 after that. Oh. If it's a free seminar here, yeah. it's less conversion for people to pay two thousand so, dollars okay so then you could take this another step then you could do a free webinar or seminar and then you could do one for say twenty dollars you can do it like this because we did not talk about what are these other lines remember right? <laughs> so many yeah. lines and i just come here and say okay if i give you a free checklist a free downloadable checklist well, this can lead for people to buy a $400 or $500 offer no. here. You said no. No, they But I can more. tell you yes. Yeah. I can tell you yes. It may lead. But the, the rate of conversion from here to here will be much smaller. Make sense? So, if you visualize this, you realize that when you go to people who pay money for events or or, or uh, like um, a membership club or an event and you go present there, you can sell them because they already paid an entry fee of $100 or $50 or $10 or whatever it is. But if you get people who, who get $0 and ask them to pay 450 or 5000 no no a smaller fraction of them will do it maybe in a thousand one in a thousand maybe one in 10000 and however it's one in a thousand you did not meet a thousand yet so your one did not come we don't know so one criteria you may want to check here that these seminars will be paid for or will have a price to it so I know Jay and some people will say, you will sign up for like $200 for the seminar. And when you come to the seminar or the workshop, we will refund you, we will refund you the, $2, the $200. And uh, Sean is doing, uh, Sean Shuwak is doing the same. Shuchak? Shuchak, yeah. You pay like 20 bucks. And then when you go to his event, you get your money back. And they will sit there and they will write you checks. All what they want to get you into the feeling that you can pay money. You can afford paying $200. You can afford paying $300 to, to go to this event. So if you pay $300 for this event, you get your money back, which is okay. They can sell you a five to $10,000 uh, offer inside. Okay? So when you do free seminars, they are free. You may ask for a deposit of a $20 refundable because you want to track how many will come. The other thing is also when they come and collect your money is an opportunity to overcome objections. It's a, 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 a 100% agree. Yeah. However, the very first premises I want to mention here is you want to people you want to guarantee people to show up for the seminar, you can ask for $10 for $20 deposit. 
for a dollar deposit. <laughs> and this will be refundable or will be charged only if you don't show up. So I, I know uh, uh, Colin is doing it like this. You, you, you put the money in and if you don't show up, they charge you. To make sure they come for the free event. But you make sure also that they admire and they need the service. Because if I charge if you charge me, if I'm willing to put ten dollar or twenty dollar up front, it means what? I'm committed. I'm committed. That's right. So if you remember the pillars of uh, mindless compliance, one of them was commitment. This people has to write down commitment. People has to commit. So if you get into this mode you may ask for the deposit and please if you have the deposit if you do credit card charging there is a way in credit card where you you run the transaction but you don't claim the money yeah, you authorize, pre-authorize pre so pre-authorize it and just let it die or don't charge them till they don't show up because you, because you'll find you can it can cost you six six percent back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Even if you have their checks, don't deposit the checks. If they email you money, it's one hundred one extra dollar for them. So emailing money is there's an emailing money fee. That's right. Yeah, it's fifty cents per transaction. So you have to understand this potential. Someone will come and say, "What the heck? I don't care if I sell one." It's four hundred dollars. It will cover all of my losses here. It's okay. Whatever you want to decide to do with your business, you are entitled of doing it. But uh, this is one of the ideas. Now, when people don't show up, you can be clever not to get their money, but to call them back and say, "Oh, you didn't show up, and I hate that I did not give you your money. Would you like to come to the next event, and I can transfer your registration?" Or like what Shamir was saying, you can also go there and say, oh, so what about if, uh, why didn't come? So I can come, I can overcome the objections. And maybe you invite them to the next event or to the next workshop. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. Are you within the... I'm not in overwhelmed. <laughs> no, we'll have a we will have a break. We will have a break soon because uh, we usually have a break around the two hours mark. So uh, we have like twelve minutes to go. So we have a break soon. So did did you did you get this kind of validation? Yes. If you have five four to five dollar signs here, you cannot jump from zero. You have to jump from a dollar to do. Okay. So if you have you can jump from here to here, which means people who pay you a hundred dollars or so, they can go and pay a thousand dollars. People who can pay a dollar, they can go and pay twenty, two hundred dollars, whatever number. So it's not uh, you cannot just uh, assume that people will come and pay thousands of dollars. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. Uh, do you want to break right now so we can, uh, when we convene, when we reconvene, we can actually continue what this could be and how we can articulate them and what can be the material for them. Okay. So that's good. When do we come? Copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited. Unless Win Your Brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent, all other rights reserved.